Can you believe it's already December? Amid the hustle and bustle of the holiday season, you might be wondering a little bit about your personal financial situation. And if you have student loans, you can't wonder about your finances without your student loans playing in. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can do a year-end assessment of your progress on your student loans. Stay tuned. When assessing your progress for the year, there are three main things you want to look at to see how your student loan repayment is coming. The first thing is total balance change. By looking at the difference in your balance in December of 2018 versus December of 2017, you get an objective look at how your student loans have changed in the last year. Doing this is pretty straightforward. You wanna log into your student loan accounts and look at your balance on your statements from December of 2017 and look at that balance today. Write both numbers down and see what kind of progress you've made. Hopefully that number has gone down if you're in active repayment. The degree to which that has gone down is going to depend a lot on your individual repayment strategy. The second thing to look at is your current repayment strategy. If you have a mix of federal and private student loans, you might have different repayment strategies for different types of loans. Federal student loans will either be in forbearance or deferment, or in the six-month grace period where you're not making active payments, or they'll be on one of the many federal repayment plans, like the 10-year standard plan or one of the income-driven plans, something like that. Private student loans will have a fixed monthly payment amount for a certain number of years. The reason you want to know your repayment plan is because it's going to help you out when you're thinking about how those payments have felt over the last year. The third thing to assess when you're looking at your progress for 2018 is how your student loan repayment feels. This step is entirely subjective and is gonna be based on your personal finances and repayment goals. But there are a couple of questions you can ask yourself. The first question is how did your student loan repayment approach fit in with all of your other competing financial needs? The second question to ask is how does repaying your student loans impact your future financial goals? Answering these two questions will help you figure out if your current repayment strategy is working for you or not. If you feel like you've had enough extra money month to month to spend on wants and didn't quite make the progress you wanted on your principal, it may be time to look for a repayment plan that has a higher monthly payment or to make extra payments each month. Taking time to assess your student loan progress in 2018 can set you up for financial success in 2019. I love hearing from my fellow borrowers, so if you did this assessment and don't mind sharing what your assessment of your repayment is in 2018, I'd love to hear it. You can leave me a comment below. If you liked this week's video, please give me a like and hit that subscribe button. There's a new video every Wednesday. We'll see you guys next week. Bye!